It's Charter Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. I'm glad you're with us. Our guest today is Ken Gonzalez Day. He is professor and chair of the art department at Scripps College. He is also the author of this book, Lynching in the West. Yes, there were lynchings in the West, in California, and there's an exhibit going on right now. Tell us about the exhibit, and then we'll talk about the book. Sure. The ex exhibit is at the Vincent Price uh, Art Museum, and it's uh, an exhibition that includes two different projects that came out of the research from the book. Uh, there's also informational material and original uh, documents that went into the research as well. And you're being humble, I can tell already, uh -huh. about the ex exhibit. What they are are photographs of the lynchings that took place in California, but then you juxtapose them with? Well, in, in one case, it's the race lynching series, and so I've taken the historical images of lynching, mostly from California or the West, and I've uh, digitally removed the body and the rope, leaving the crowd leaving the mob, le leaving the spectacle, but removing the, the victim, as it were. What's the metaphor to the, you? Uh, for me, of course, it, uh, initially it was a metaphor for the erasure of, of uh, the history of lynching from California's history. And that's the key. I mean, when I think of lynchings, I think of the South and I think of African Americans. But what you are teaching us in this book, Lynching in the West, it was a different story. What did you learn? Right. This is really the first history of lynching in America. It begins in California in <clears throat> 1850 statehood, this is while well, we still have um, slavery, so it's not happening yet in the South, at least not in the way that we tend to think of it. And so lynchings were invented, created in California, not in the South? Well, they're invented in New England and they move their way across. Oh. They're a part of America, but they, the, uh, the creation of racial victimization That's really key. does, I think, begin here in California, and it begins with targeting of Latinos, Native Americans, and Chinese. And that's right where I want to stop because that is the key. When we think of lynchings, we think of African Americans being targeted. But pursuant to the Western experience, the Far West experience in the 19th century, African Americans were but a small part of those that were lynched. It was, like you said, mostly Latino, or a plurality were Latinos. Yes. Yes, and if you take all of the combined Latino, Native American, and Chinese, and African American and combine them, it makes about two thirds of the total number of, of cases that I uncovered. I uncovered three, over 350 cases in the state of California. Previous records only included between 25 and 50. Wow, and when you say lynchings, you mean mob-driven murder where someone is put on a tree, hung up, and then executed. That's right, the, many uh, scholars resist finding lynching, but certainly we can say it's a large group. It can be from from, let's say, 20 to right. 8,000 in some cases. And what's also interesting is during that same era, we had a state death penalty. And though that death penalty was often uh, meted out through hanging. That's right. And when you compared the racial statistics, what did you find? I found that in doing a uh, comparative study of 100 cases of lynching, of execution between 1850 and 1900, that only 18 were Latino, so roughly 18%, about eight Asian, so 8%. And when you compare that to the lynching case uh, history, Latinos are about 44%. So even though Latinos may not have been 18% of the population, it does kind of, uh, there is a correlation between, I mean, sadly today, Latinos yes. are more incarcerated, more subject to whatever Absolutely. it may be. Yes. Okay, so talk to me about the power of this project for you. I think for me the, the power, this, the, the project began thinking about all of the immigration issues that we've heard about, thinking about the racial dynamics in California and the, uh, so much language against Latinos in nationwide mm -hmm. and trying to really go back and say, where is this coming from? Where's, really, why is there so much uh, animosity towards this and community? there is a deep-seated history as it relates to metting out vigilante right. justice. And if you think about it, in 1850, why did they hate Mexicans already? They didn't even know who they were. They there you have it. <laughs> okay, so the exhibit is going on through April 27th. Vincent Price Art Museum in East Los Angeles. Pick up this book. It's called Lynching in the West by Professor Ken Gonzalez Day of Scripps College. My name is Brad Palmer. Thank you for watching Charter Local Edition. Back to HLN. You know what happens when you don't know your politics. Watch Charter California Edition. In-depth half-hour interviews with our elected officials, educators, and community leaders. Tune to Charter's original programming on Channel 101 at these times to learn more about our community, our state, and our future. Charter California Edition with Brad Pomerantz. Stay current, California.